In this video, I'm going to show you the um, uh, the symmetry, the new symmetry uh, tool or feature in Corel Draw. This is my first time. Uh, I mean, I watched the videos of uh, the webinars about the new um, symmetry tool, and I've watched it, but this time, uh, this is my first time to use it. So. Um, I'm just wondering, I'm not sure if this is the case, but I think they use uh, Corel Draw. The design team used Symmetry to create this uh, this new logo of the Corel Draw 2008. It's low resolution because I just grab it from the web. So anyway, I'll just move it there. And so the Symmetry tool is under um, object symmetry and create symmetry so when you create symmetry automatic you're going to have a grid lines uh, sorry not a grid it's a guideline right so say i'm going to make a square here and automatically it makes another square or rectangle on the other side so that's symmetry so uh, in the webinar, it says that the symmetry uh, line acts like a normal guideline. So when I double click on that, it could be. Uh, so I'm just going to try deleting this one. So you can have a symmetry like this way, right? So if I'm going to create a circle here, so it goes over there. It's not, you know, vertical like the first one. So that's nice. Um, so what else? So if you color this one, an automatic it colors that way. I'm just gonna undo here and go back to. Well, what if I already have an object? So say I have an object like this, and I want to apply symmetry to that object. Let's see what it does. So I click an object and click on symmetry and create new symmetry. Okay, so now it duplicates, but I don't know which one's the original now. Okay, so it looks like the original is this one because I can't select this one here. Okay. So that's, uh, that's another way. So um, I'm going to draw a circle here because we got a symmetry tool. And this one here, if you click on finish uh, symmetry, uh, finish editing symmetry, so you won't see the symmetry line uh, but then it's it's one grouped object right and I think the symmetry line goes together with the object so if I go back to oh, okay so you got three icons here so if you click on the edit symmetry now that's good so you still can see the symmetry so the symmetry line goes together with the objects that that symmetry was applied. So I'm going to click on this one to finish edit symmetry. Like I said, I'm I'm new here in symmetry. I'm just going to explore, um, you know, what it is, what feature, you know, what what changes. Okay. So um, going back to I'm just going to hit F4. Going back to this one. If we're going to recreate this, what I'm planning to do is. I'm going to create one, let's just call this leaf uh, using the symmetry tool and then we're going to distribute this one because I found out that if you um, let's go circle here and then if you if you go to objects and click on symmetry, create symmetry I'm just going to move this object here closer and then this one here that's only one piece right so if I click on two if you notice it distributes it in a really nice way so we can use that for you know the logo that we're going to create recreate we're gonna use one leaf and then distribute it this way so I'm gonna undo that and let's go back here so our objective is to create one leaf right and we're going to try to use the symmetry tool. Um, so uh, let's go to object, click on symmetry, create symmetry. I'm just looking for the symmetry line. So this is the symmetry line. 
So I'm going to go to my Bezier tool and I'm just going to click here and so basically and then I'm just going to okay so I'm just going to close it there. Now if I want to make it that just smoother so I'm going to make this as a curve now it's already a curve so we can basically reshape it what's nice here because it's symmetrical so whenever I reshape the right side it's gonna reshape the other side too okay so now here um, I'm just gonna put it there and then I'm just gonna move that just make it like smoother uh, I don't know if I need that one okay that's good uh, not quite okay let's just say like that we're good with that right now if I wanna so I'm gonna end the symmetry right so I click on this one finish sim symmetry and then I'm going to color it so see this is the problem I can't color it right but there's a work around that one so if you click this one here and what I normally do if I see this kind of situation I go to my smart fill and then I just fill this like that okay and I'll move this over and this one I can delete but I still use the symmetry tool which is nice right and now if you look at this one you've got um, you've got uh, contour here so what I'll do I'm just gonna contour this one click on contour and then I'm going to go inside and like that maybe bigger okay I'm good with that one and then I'm gonna click on object and I'm just gonna break contour apart okay so that I can make this green this kind of green I'm just gonna go eyedropper tool and get the green and that that's my green so I don't need the background I mean the outline and uh, but if also you also notice that this is a different lighter green right so maybe what I'll do I'm gonna use the interactive fill so click and drag down okay so I'm okay with this one here now I click on this one go here and click on the eyedropper tool it's gonna get the the color of this one here there okay, I think that's good and then go back here so the only thing we have to do is the outer contour so I'm gonna do the same thing interactive tool I interactive fill oops uh, has to be this one interactive fill click and drag so this first color I'm gonna make it eyedropper tool which is this one here and then this color here would be eyedropper it's just this one over there there and then of course I'm going to remove the outline right mouse click on the X there like I said we're not really recreating it exactly but uh, I think we're good here I'm just gonna reshape that a little bit okay so I'm not too concerned about this one here because that's gonna be covered so I'm going to size it to the approximately same size as as that okay and move it over here so what I'll do move this over there first and then I am going to use symmetry here so first of all I'm going to group this object and then what I'll do I'm gonna go objects symmetry 
creates symmetry. Okay. So which one is my source? If you can't choose this one, so that's not your source. So this is your source. I'm going to move it closer. Not too, too close. And then what I'll do here, I'm just going to make... I'm just going to make multiple lines, right? Now it doesn't look right, so what I'll do, I'm going to find my source, which I don't know where it is, uh, here, and I'm going to just manually do that. Maybe shrink it a bit. And uh, maybe I'm going to rotate it a little bit because it's not really... Yeah, something like that. Oops. I think that's good. Okay. So now I'm going to go back here. What I'll do here, I'm just going to move all of these objects. I don't know if I can do that. But anyway, um, yeah. So, so this is my first symmetry. So I use that one. And then let's see how it looks like. So I'm going to finish my symmetry. And now what I'm going to do, because this lesson, this video really is not, is not about, it's not how to, about to creating this logo. We're just creating the leaf. So what I'll do, I'm just going to power clip this one so that we can put it in the center. So we can at least see if it looks like that logo. I'm going to click on this one here and you go to objects, power clip, place inside the container. So I created a circle, so that's my container. Okay, I'm going to remove the outline and I'm just going to put it somewhere there. Shift, I'm going to hit shift. I'm just going to cover that there because we're going to recreate this one. Okay maybe more there okay so, so what I'll do here is I'm going to click on the leaf that we put symmetry and then I'm gonna go duplicate it so plus sign in your keyboard to duplicate without offset and then enlarge it a bit and if of course I don't see it because I have to put it behind so you go objects, order, to back of page, right? Now that this doesn't look right because we have to rotate it. So click one more time and I'm going to rotate it. So that would be kind of like alternate. There. Yeah, so, so that's the one. So we made, we enlarge it a bit. So if you if you count this as you go one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna duplicate it, plus sign your keyboard, and then enlarge it a little bit. Oops. You have to be careful to choose which one. So I was I was choosing this first one, not this one here. So I'm gonna click this again and then to test I'm just gonna move it around. So yeah, I know that's the one. So control Z to go back. And now a plus sign your keyboard to duplicate. And then I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. And then, of course, I'm going to bring it to back of layer. Order to back of page. And then click one more time so that you can see the rotation option. And then you just have to... Um, yeah, find, find the right one. And then if you want to enlarge it some more, you can just go like this. Okay, so I guess plus sign again one more time to duplicate. And then enlarge it again. And then go objects, order to back of page. And then rotate it again. Like that. Okay, I know it's not exactly the same, it's more of the sizing, but 
but we get the point right we get the symmetry feature uh, we get the the concept of symmetry um, yeah so that um, that ends the uh, video I'm gonna talk about more of the features the new features of um, Corel Draw 2018 and uh, so what do you think uh, down below in the comments see if the symmetry tool would be useful for you okay um, but before that I want to make another one just to make it the same as this one so what I'll do I'm, I chose this one here and what I'll do I'm gonna go to objects uh, shaping boundary so it made a boundary like the circle of that and I'm going to enlarge it like that and I'll make that black right mouse click on this one to remove the outline and then I'm going to go to my transparency tool and click on the uniform transparency okay as you can see uh, the logo here looks dark it's because of the it's behind right so I'm gonna hold down alt and then shift page up that's the that's the shortcut key for moving it to the front if you notice you've got a kind of like a light green outline so we're just gonna make a, I'm gonna just gonna choose a light background I'm just gonna go here and we are going to make this thicker I say two millimeters and make this oh we got the, the eyedropper tool and there and let's see how it goes click OK whoa that's really big so not two millimeters probably 0.25 there I'm just gonna make it smaller yeah so it's not exactly the same but you get the point okay thanks for watching